Tensions rise as Poland curtails Russian diplomatic freedoms over security concerns. Poland's decision to restrict the movement of Russian diplomats has been framed as a protective measure in response to what Warsaw perceives as a concerted effort by Moscow to undermine its security through hybrid warfare tactics. This move, which isolates diplomats to specific provinces, underscores a deepening mistrust between Poland and Russia, with the Polish government citing direct threats to its national security. Restricting the movements of Russian diplomats is not only about safeguarding our nation, but also about preserving the integrity of the European Union against external threats, Polish Foreign Minister Radislaw Sikorski emphasized. The restrictions are intended to limit the ability of Russian diplomats to conduct covert operations, which Poland alleges include espionage and sabotage. Moscow's retaliation promises escalation in diplomatic standoff. In a stark response to Poland's new policy, Russia has signaled its intention to enact reciprocal measures. Maria Zakharova, spokesperson for the Russian Foreign Ministry, described the Polish decision as motivated by Russophobia and warned that Russia's countermeasures would cause Poland to greatly regret its decision. This rhetoric suggests an imminent escalation in retaliatory actions that could further strain diplomatic relations between the two countries. The specifics of our response are currently being formulated and will be proportional to the actions taken by Poland, Zakharova stated, indicating a calculated approach to Russia's forthcoming retaliation. The looming question is whether these countermeasures will exacerbate the already tense situation or open avenues for diplomatic dialogue to resolve the underlying issues. European Union's Role in the Escalating East-West Tensions the European Union has been increasingly concerned with Russia's tactics in Eastern Europe, and Poland's actions may encourage similar measures by other EU countries. This collective stance could signify a shift in how the EU addresses Russian diplomacy, potentially leading to a unified strategy to counteract Russia's influence within the bloc. European diplomats, while not publicly endorsing Poland's restrictions, have expressed understanding for the necessity of such measures in private. The EU must be vigilant and proactive in protecting its members from state-sponsored disruptions, an anonymous EU official remarked, highlighting the broader implications of Poland's policy. Looking ahead, implications for international diplomacy. As Poland and Russia prepare for potentially prolonged diplomatic tensions, the international community is closely monitoring the situation. The outcome of this conflict could have far-reaching implications for diplomatic norms and the management of international relations amid accusations of hybrid warfare. Experts argue that the effectiveness of Poland's restrictions and Russia's threatened retaliation will largely depend on the diplomatic engagements that follow. It is crucial for both nations to engage in dialogue to de-escalate the situation. Rather than resorting to further punitive measures, noted a senior analyst specializing in Eastern European politics. The coming weeks are critical as the world watches how this diplomatic standoff unfolds, potentially setting a precedent for how nations address security threats in an increasingly complex global landscape.